grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to the Voice of the Prophet. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Rene. I pray that maybe this is the last week we're going to talk about the names of God, the doctrine of God. So today we're going to talk about the names of God. Amen? The names of God. Um, we're going to talk about El, the strong one. Mm. Right? A name in Scripture is often significant of the nature of a person, whether um, the name be angels, men, or God, the Hebrews say of God, and his name himself is his name, and his name is himself, mm -hmm. right? That's what I am that I am is. His yes. name is himself, and his name is himself. The names of God are basically divided into two groups, creatorship, um, elohistics, and redemptive, or Jehovah's, um, Jehovah-tistic. Uh, creatorship or Elohistic names of God. The Elohistic names of God are those names which have to do with the relationship of God with his creation. Mm. Um, or creative. The name El signified to be strong, powerful, or mighty. Yes. Well, um, to give you a little bit on um, what you call it background, right? Everybody watch um, Superman, right? So guess what his name is? Ka'el, right? So Superman was created by a Jewish guy. So that's why you see the name of God. Matter of fact, Superman was supposed to be a representative of Jesus, you know, mm -hmm. the, the Savior. So Superman was a Savior of the world, just like Christ was supposed to be the Savior of the world. So exactly. that's why you see the name of God called El, right? which is strong one. Mm -hmm. So the name of Superman, his name is Ka'el, mm -hmm. which is the name of a strong mm -hmm. one, a mighty guy. But, you know, this is a um, background for those comic heads. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, um, so strong means to be powerful or mighty. Amen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Elohim is the plural of El, mm. right? Um, of the divine person and the Godhead. El signifies uh, the object of worship rather than divine name, right? When, when the name uh, uh, El is used as a compound, it is generally associated or used to show some power or attributes of God uh, in relation to his creation uh, or, or, or his, um, you know, him being creative. So you see the, the name El. El means to be strong, to be powerful, mighty. It is in the singular, in the plural, when it um, comes with the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, it is called Elohim. The Father is El. Now, if you look at it, it you know, it's a wonderful thing to know that God is strong. You know, um, that's why um, the scripture said when we are, Paul said, when I'm weak, Therefore, he is strong. So that's L. When I can't do it, when I, when I can't go on, when I don't have the ability to, as a human, to be able, to, you know, you know, to be able to make it through. Come on now. That's when L, the one I worship, yes, the one who is strong, is able to come in mm -hmm. and help me yes, and Lord. support me. And strengthen me to all kind of trials, to all kind of uh, 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 um, tribulations mm -hmm. of my life, and, and 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 all the things I can go through mm -hmm. that I cannot mentally take, emotionally take. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, you know, when I'm going through the hardest time to death, mm -hmm. to um, losing a job and don't know what to do, body sick, L is on the scene. Because God is the strong one. Yes, when we are weak, he is strong. When we are down, he is strong. When we don't know what to do, he is strong. Yes, he is Lord. the L. My God, he's the yes, L. He's the strong God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it is powerful to know that we don't serve a God that is weak. Yes, we don't Lord. serve a God that don't have all power. Yes, Lord. We don't serve a God that don't have all, all kind of abilities to help me to strengthen myself and keep myself. Yes. Um, to really understand this word, let's go to Genesis 14. 
Genesis 14, verse 18, right, to 22, right? And um, Melchizedek, here beginning reading of God's holy word, and Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the most high God. And he blessed them and said, Blessed be Abraham of the most high God, possessor of heaven and earth. And blessed be the most high God, which have delivered thy enemies into thy hand. Yes. And he gave tithes of, of all. Now, this was the time when Abraham, right, went to fight mm -hmm. an army with only 300 men. He, I, I, mm -hmm. I think he went to fight three um, neighbor kings who had a whole army. But let me tell you mm -hmm. something. You do not need a whole bunch of people when you have L. Come on. The strong one that's in your side. Yes, Lord. Though there can be an army against you, if God be for you, who can be against yes, you? Lord. I can mm -hmm. deal with all things. I can go through all mm -hmm. things. I can go through, um, deal with things that nobody else can go through because God mm -hmm. is on my side. Yes, and I can deal with things that's bigger than me, mm -hmm. stronger than me, yes, got more money than me, more, more wealth, more more than anything, you know, you know, you know, you can be the small guy, mm -hmm. but you have the biggest God on your side if you have elf, you have the most high God on your part. So guess what happened? Abraham had only 300 men against three kings and their army. But guess mm -hmm. what happened? They didn't have God fighting for them. And let me tell you, mm -hmm. he had faith in God to fight for him. And this is what can mean that with God on your side, I can fight um, things mm -hmm. that that that's very impossible. Take yes, down Lord. things that that people say I can't take down. Yes, deal Lord. with things I can't take it down. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Today you can be dealing with some impossibilities in your life. You can be dealing with some things that is hard. You don't know what to do. You don't oh, know yeah. which way to go. You have to worship it. You have to worship El, yeah. the strong God, the powerful one, yes, God. the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Let me tell you something. Abraham trained them, these men that was in his army, mm -hmm. and he went to, to fight all these neighborhood kings. And guess what happened? And the king, in uh, verse 20, and the king of Sodom said to Ab Abram, give me the person and take the goods to thyself. And Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my hand unto the Lord, the most high God, right? The possessor of heaven and earth that I will not take from a thread even to a shoe, shoe, shoelation, and that I will not take anything that is mine, lest thou should say, I have made Abraham rich. Mm. Let me tell you something. When God is on your side, when you, this is why you have to have faith yes. in the power of God. You have to have faith that when you are weak, mm -hmm. I got to call L. Yes. Yes. The Amen. strong God, the mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, now, Let's look at um, the son is L, right? The son is also his L. Isaiah seven fourteen, the son is always his L. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah seven, um, fourteen. The son is also L. Look at this, right? Um, um, it's seven fourteen. Look at this. Um, therefore, the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold. A virgin shall conceive mm -hmm. and bear a son. And his name should, should call his name Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. You see that word, that L, right? The strong one, the mighty God, God with us. Amen? Yes, yes. So the son is L. The Holy Spirit is L. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Job 33, 34. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Job chapter 33. Um, verse 4. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Now look at this. The Spirit of God had made me, right? And the breath of the Almighty have given me life. He also is El, the Almighty mm. God. Amen. Amen. He has all strength. He has all power. And look at 37 and 10, Job 37 and 10. The Holy Spirit is also El. Praise the Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. By the breath of God, frost is given, right? 
and the breath of the water is threatened, right? So if we look at it, he has all power. He has all ability. And the thing that makes God, he is all powerful. I don't care what you're dealing yes, with. Yes. I don't care what you're going through. Amen. God is all powerful. Don't do not allow your circumstances to know that God is weak and God don't have no power. But as L, He is the all powerful God. Mm -hmm. You're gonna tell me someone is weak when He created nothing out of nothing. You're yeah. gonna tell me someone is weak when they can suspend the earth upon the stars and put the moon and put every stars in heaven and let them hang and then it fall off. That's a mighty God. Yes, yes. That mm -hmm. is a strong God. He is El the strong God. When I can't deal with stuff, I can depend on him. When I, when I can't deal with stuff, I can call on him because he is the almighty God. Yes, the other name of God is the Elohim. He is the Elohim. Remember we talk mm -hmm. about that is the plurality of the divine person. Each. It is used about 2,500 times wow. in, the, in the Old Testament. And if you, if, you, if you see in Genesis 1, right, it is it, um, it's a God, in the beginning God, mm -hmm. right? That's powerful that God is a creative God. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful God is. Yes. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That ain't, not, that ain't somebody you can't call up. Yes, God. That is, that, that he, you know, you know, it's not somebody that you say, well, let me see if I'm going to call him. Mm -hmm. He's the one that, that made heaven mm -hmm. and earth. He made light and day. He created all things. Mm -hmm. He created all stars. He, he created all multiverses. Mm -hmm. He created all principalities and powers and thrones. He created everything mm -hmm. that you can never think that it could be created. Yes, he is yes. the only one that is created. And guess what? He is the only one that's not created, but he's also the only created that, that, that exists. Yes, and let me tell you something. That's why we worship him. Mm -hmm. That's why we give him glory. Hallelujah. Yes, that's why we give him power. That's why we lift him up because he has all power. Remember that as, as much because that's why he's, he has all these other attributes. He's love. He's holy yes, because Lord. those things balance his power. His character balances his power. Yes, Let's go to Exodus 3. Chapter 3, verse 1. Amen. Now look at this. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, mm -hmm. the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to horror. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire at the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses says, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why, this, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called to him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here, here, here am I. Mm -hmm. And he said, draw not, um, not nigh hither, put up that shoe from up thy feet, for the place where on thy stand is his holy ground. Moreover, he said, I'm the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God, the Elohim, the mighty God. Yes, Hallelujah. So now it is, it is the use of the fullness of the Godhead and the Son. Let's look at Psalm 45. That's the fullness of the Godhead, right? Psalm 45, verse 2. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Verse 2. Right? Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured upon thy lips. Therefore, God hath blessed thee forever. Right? Gird thy sword upon thy, thy thigh, O most mighty, with thy glory and thy majesty. And in thy majesty, write prosperously because of truth and meekness and righteousness. And thy right hand shall teach thee terrible things. Mm -hmm. Thy arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people shall fall under thee. Thy throne, O God, is forever. And ever the scepter of that kingdom is a is a right scepter. So this is the part. This, this is the picture of God as a warrior. That yes. God is all powerful. Yes, He's your God, but and you worship Him. But God is also a God of war. Mm -hmm. He is a He He is one 
who will put on his armor yes. to battle. He's yes, the Lord God. of hosts. Yes, Nobody God. hear me. Yes, he don't only send you to fight, come but he now. will come. And let me tell you something. Come who can now. stand come against now. God? Who has yes. power to stand against yes, God? God? Hallelujah. Who has power to come and save you from God? Yes, let me tell you that the one that we serve, the El, the mighty God, he has all power yes, today. Yes. And let me tell you something. There's yes. nothing that you're going through. There's nothing come if you now. believe in him. If you have trust in him this morning, that no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, God is able to help you. Don't stop praying. Don't stop worshiping. Do not allow the world or preachers or anybody that try to make a picture that God is weak. God is not weak. God has all the power. God has all the ability. God has all the know-how. Don't do, keep on praying, keep on worship. Keep on believing him. Keep on seeking him. He has all power. For he is El, yes, the strong one. Amen. Amen. Stay steady in prayer. Stay steady in worship. I don't care how long you've been waiting. Pray. Yes, I don't care how, how many times you've been praying about the same thing. Keep on praying. Power, you know, belongs to God. Yes, and I think in Psalm 68, he said, um, you know, uh, I heard it once. And I heard it twice. That power belongs to God. Our God is all powerful. He is El, the strong one. He is the Elohim, the mighty God. You can seek Him. You can worship Him. Amen. You can believe in Him. Amen and amen. Well, I pray the word bless you. I pray the word strengthen you this morning. And I pray that your faith will be in God and God alone and His power and His you know, his ability. He is not weak. He is able. Amen. Yes, Get your faith up to another level to trust God and believe in God. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Renee. I have one thing to say to you. Jesus is Lord. God bless you.